Edgebright Boss. Step 1. Here we have a uh, downturn eye limerick bend salmon hook and some 6 aught orange tying thread. Completely cover the shank. Step 2. And for the tail, we're going to use some calf tail. And this is orange. And again, the color to match the fly you're going to tie. Tail's going to be about the length of the body. I like to have the tail quite long on this fly. It helps to uh, balance it in the water, as does any tail on any fly. When you talk about balance, what do you mean by balance? It'll keep the fly riding straight, not on its side. Mm -hmm. Right up to the hook point there. Step three. Now we're going to tie in a strip of edge bright, about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch in width, depending on the hook size. Cut the tip on an angle, and this will help us from getting the uh, edge bright all bunched up when we initially start tying it, wrapping it along the hook shank. Step four. Here we're going to tie in some tinsel. And again, with being a thick tinsel, we're going to cut it in on an angle. We like to use silver for this because it brightens up the body of the edge bright quite a bit. And you can see why we've run the tail of the fly all the way down the hook shank to keep the body consistent. Now this is a metal tinsel. I prefer to use mylar, but this will work just, uh, just as good. It's just a little bit stiffer and harder to work with. Make sure that none of the uh, underbody is showing through. Keep those wraps nice and tight. We've left a bit of space at the head there because we're going to tie in some eyes. Step 5. Now we're going to wrap our edge bright. Now each wrap should slightly overwrap the last one. And this will give the effect that we're looking for when the fly's in the water. Make sure you wrap it fairly tight though. It'll keep the fly from falling apart. Make sure you get this tied down tight. A lot of times edge bright has a bit of elastic quality and it'll come undone, shrink back on you. Step six. Now we're going to take a uh, neck hackle or saddle hackle. This is neck, I believe. And trim off the uh, tip into the little bit webbier portion of the, of the uh, fibers. You can see we've tied it with the shiny side facing up so that the hackles will lay with the right uh, curvature over the body of the fly. And again, put as many wraps as you feel necessary for how thick you want to make the fly. You can also vary the color of hackle to give it some contrast. Step 7. Now we're going to put some bead chain on. And really, this just adds for weight. Um, again, you could use lead eyes if you like. Now take and figure eight these eyes on right at the head of the fly. Make sure you put lots of wraps on because these uh, tend to twist on you if you don't. Especially with this thinner thread, it's a good idea to put a lot of wraps on. The thicker the thread, the less wraps you'll need. Step 8. Now you can come in and whip finish. And it's a, definitely a good idea to glue this. And Zappa Gap's a good glue because it'll keep it firmly in place. And there it is. And this is how the fly is going to ride upside down. These this uh, type of fly tends to hook really well.